interesting that uh, matchup between him, Dylan Conley down that side. Conley's rapid pace, we know. Oh, Akin Tunde has picked a pocket here. James Clark and the shot coming in from Flores on that left hand side. Well, Shamrock Rovers a little ponderous defensively, and Bowes looking to get in their faces and make a quick start here. Oh, certainly was. Nervous there. James Clark does great here. Knows he can't score it himself. Gets his head up. Takes out Flores first touch. Cross back into the box, a cut back from Dara Burns. No Rovers players arriving. Josh Honan again backing up and winning his team a corner kick. He started the game really well again, Honan. And he's looked a really good addition, and his versatility, of course, will offer so much to this uh, Stephen Bradley side. In swinger on the way from Dylan Watts. Here climbing, and it was straight at Churrasca. Just wonder was that Roberto Lopez coming in at the last minute? gets on to the end of these so often Roberto Lopez he's not the biggest in terms of stature at center half goal but a hit of Burke Brad Cleary not a bad looking ball and Dara Burns can go now Churrasca furiously backpedaling Burns shot back on the inside oh plenty of power just needed a, a little more in terms of direction then Churrasca the chance to get his hands up yeah it's the first time Dale Rooney Paddy Kirk haven't dealt with this type of ball over the head of Rooney He's expecting probably Paddy Kirk to get across a little bit earlier. Doesn't quite see it. Find himself in a 1v1 situation then for Burns. And the big uh, loan signing for them this season, Dara Burns coming in. And particularly with the continuing injury issues for Jack Burn. Corner back onto his right side. Big header from Mills, but only to the edge. And Dylan Watts. And it will break and the chance swept in. Johnny Kenny for Shamrock Rovers, first blood drawn in the derby and in clinical fashion came his way fortuitously, swept it in with confidence, 2-2 two and two for Johnny Kenny and the lead for Shamrock Rovers. Well, we spoke about Shamrock Rovers starting the second half with intent, but they've got their reward for it. Josh Honahan, probably Rovers' best player, best player in the first half, from it again. Just shifting onto his right foot, no more than a hopeful ball into the box. I'd be a little bit critical of Mills in terms of the quality of that defensive header. Always head away from your goal if you can. Heads it straight to the edge of the penalty box, which allows Dylan Moss to have a touch. Steady himself, it's not the greatest of shots, is it? Johnny Kenny in that central area doesn't panic, kills it with his first touch. It's an easy finish from them, exactly the start he wanted to this second half. And managed to take all the pain. The best option, here goes Johnny Kenny. Taking on Mills, driving along the end line, he's picked out Burke. Had the option to go to hold him, flashes it across, goal, Burns, 2-0! The champions have come out firing in this second half. Johnny Kenny setting this one up, Dara Burns smashing it home. And Bohemians with a real job on their hands now. Yeah, this is the type of attack the footballs and those Rover supporters turned up tonight to see. Didn't see too much of it in that kind of first half. Rovers struggled to oppose themselves on this ball with both teams, but it hasn't been the case. Over the five minutes to this second half. They've really taken the game to both, really stretched them and really asked questions of them in the round their own 18-yard box and unfortunately for both up to now they haven't had the answer couldn't stop that cross into the box Jevin Mills again and then the lander he's got to stop that cross got to take more pride once that ball fizzes across the penalty box anything can happen it's a brilliant first touch from Dara Burns isn't it just kills the ball steadies himself similar to Johnny Kenny for the opening goal ball arrives quickly kills it with his first touch and makes it a simple finish that's the quality Rovers have in the attack of it's gone awry, Akintunde, they need something, Bohemians, oh, they almost had it. Brian McManus straight into the action, driving into the penalty area. Yeah, just ricocheted off his shins, there's almost, didn't it? Mistake there from Poles in the penalty spot. Rooney feeding it, can Akintunde the air. drive and run to make it his. Burns, rolling it with the studs. Rolling it infield to Burke, who has it on his left. Lovely ball slipped inside, or flashed across goal by Darren Nugent. And then Honan was arriving, just couldn't get there in time. Yeah, lovely play that from Rovers. Graham Burke at the heart of it. 
and just not getting the ball quickly enough when he picks the ball up here. One of them, one of those Bohemian centre midfielders that's got to be getting there quicker. Can't allow the ground broke. He's spoke about a first half to get his head up in those positions. He'll shoot on goal, he'll pick out a pass, Ivan Needle pass. He's that good. Tight angle for Nugent, wasn't it? Would have been better advised maybe just to square that across the six yard box. Popping it around now, Shamrock Rovers. Nugent goes again. Driving run. Still with Dara Nugent. Haters on the ground, the ball's in the net. Bohemians run to the match official. Aaron Green runs to the Rover supporters, 3-0. And is that the Derby one? Huge second half performance from the champions. And Aaron Green, only a matter of minutes on the pitch, has prodded in the third. Now we spoke about the ability of this man here on our screens to impact the game in a very short period of time. And he's done it again. Good play here from Darren Nugent. Kane has got to defend strongly. The initial thought was he's got to be stronger. I've got to be honest with you. Is there a bit of upper body contact from Aaron Green? Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to deal with that as a defender, it's a physical contact sport. You have to be stronger here. And Kane isn't. He allows himself to be eased off the ball. Some referees might have given that as a free out. I don't think it is a free. It's got to be stronger. It looked like it was that physical pressure from Aaron Green. Oh, no. was up. Graham Burke for a spectacular fourth. Well, that really would have been salt of the wounds. The Bohemian supporters really wouldn't have been surprised, would you? That have found itself into the top corner, such as Graham Burke's quality from that distance. Mason really does, he's quick about the two ball, he just takes a half. Well, you have that extra bit of time now to put his imprint on things. Oh, there'll be no panic, you're absolutely right, Des. You jumped into towel. oh, brilliant for Richie Towel. Oh, Cheraska thrust out his leg and prevented what would have been a stunning fourth for Shamrock Rovers. Oh, could have been the best of the lot, this wonderful combination play here, Nugent involved, Aaron Green feeds it into Richie Towel, does everything right, doesn't he? Takes a couple of quick touches here, dribbles around the Bowes players, just thought he was going to lift that. There's the games over to show the quality, which they showed in this second half. Over the course of 90 minutes, very little or no teams can live with them. Well, here goes Mac Dane, and there's one back in stoppage time. Rolls it into an empty net as Leon Poles advanced. Shamrock Rovers hoping an offside flag might save them, but it won't. They won't get that clean sheet. And there is a positive for the Bohemian fans to head to home with. Be absolutely fuming if I was a Rovers defender and goalkeeper conceding a goal, losing that clean. She look at the face, Roberto Lopez, he's absolutely fuming. I can understand it. Let's look at the goalkeeper a little bit. If you look at the, the angle that he's come out to the ball, he's actually run beyond this near post there, Poles. He's actually offered my doesn't mean anything in the context of the game, but that'll sting a little bit, those Rovers defenders. But overall, they'll be delighted with the overall performance, particularly in that second half with chalk and cheese. We saw the real Rovers turn up in that second half and they blew Bowes away, simple as that. Well, the concession of that goal will be a little annoyance for Stephen Bradley and co, but ultimately a big second half performance set them on their way to the Derby win. Johnny Kenny with the breakthrough goal, back-to-back -back goals for him now. Tara Burns adding a brilliantly taken second, Aaron Green with the third, before Declan McDade replied very late on for Bohemian. So uh, not much time to dwell on these results, on the win and on the defeat. Back to action on Bank Holiday Monday when Rovers will head to Waterford. Bohemians will head west to Galway. But it is Shamrock Rovers night as they hold sway in the Derby and Tala again. They've won this by three goals to one. We'll get the thoughts of Rachel and Alan with Peter when we return from the break.